it had very, very little to do with the construction of the welfare state economic model. There was one element of the economic model that was fundamentally flawed. We had a fixed exchange rate policy, and that was untenable. We tried to defend the fixed exchange rate with interest rates up to 500%. That was ridiculous. It was a failure. But we were so um, indoctrinated. We had lived with a fixed exchange rate regime all our lives since the early 30s. And we could not imagine that there was something wrong with the fundamental element of our economic policy. When that was abolished, the economy took off and we've had a much more flexible situation since then. And today it is one of the fundamental assets of our economy that we are flexible enough to set interest rates according to our own needs. High interest rates if we have overheating and inflation and we can stimulate by low interest rates when recession is threat threatening. And I think that was one of the main elements of the shocks that we experienced in the late 80s. We had a shock from the financial markets. And as you know, financial markets destabilize. They don't stabilize, they destabilize economies. They destabilized our economy. We could not do anything about it because we did not have in our possession the interest rate weapon because we had a fixed exchange rate regime. And I think that was a much more important explanation. Thank you.